Aloha friends, I'm going to show you how to make deviled eggs with butter mayo. They're totally carnivore and super delicious. Come check it out. Okay, so to make the butter mayo, you're going to want a large vessel like this. You could use a mason jar with a wide top. That works perfectly. Um, I don't know where this came from, but I use it all the time. But uh, when I live in Wisconsin, I use a large mouth mason jar. And what you want to use is one egg. And these are so cute. If you haven't seen Vital Farms True Blues, super cute. And the trick is you want a room temperature egg. You do not want it to be cold because it won't work. So plop that on in there. And this recipe, uh, I, met, I wrote a long, long, long time ago, but I was on that carnivore show, uh, Reversed. I was the chef. And I wanted to make deviled eggs for the carnivore show. And I was like, hey, I can do that. Because I usually use bacon fat, but I did not have that. I used butter and everybody went wild for it. So you want one room temperature egg. And I used um, two sticks of the unsalted butter, Vital Farms. And that's heated up, but it's not piping hot because you don't want to cook the egg. But you want it melted, okay? Um, we are going to add pickle juice. I like to add pickle juice. Um, on the carnivore show, I use beef broth. You could use lemon juice, whatever. I just love that pickly flavor. And then mustard. I add a little bit of mustard. On the carnivore version, I skipped the mustard, but um, Kelly Hogan, mustard for you, my friend. And I'm gonna use salt. Sprinkle it with salt. Salt is a flavor enhancer, don't be afraid of that. And I love this stick blender. It was a pricey one, it's a Vitamix one, but oh my gosh, it's so worth the money. It comes apart very easy, like you don't have to find some weird button. I just love it, it was the best money, because I use it a couple times a week. So you're gonna start with it running on low, like this, and you're gonna slowly pour the butter in. And kind of move it up and down to emulsify it. And don't say this is hollandaise, it's different. <laughs> there we go. And this is better than any store-bought mayo, keto mayo. I don't like the ones with avocado oil, sorry, don't. We have mayo. It's going to get thick in the fridge, really thick, because it will cool, obviously, butter. Um, but that is how simple it is to make. It's so good. I mean, throw that on a sandwich, on a protein bread sandwich, or the next up, we'll do some deviled eggs for you. But delicious. So to make the deviled eggs, we're going to start with making them into hard-boiled eggs, right? And my mom, Mothers are not always right, my friends. My mom would always put the eggs into cold water, bring it to a boil, cover it, shut the heat off, and let them steam for 11 minutes. No, 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 no. If you want your eggs to peel great, you're going to boil the water first and then add the eggs to it. What that does is seizes that uh, albumin and it makes a really easy peeled egg. That's how it, I would do it. If you have a better trick, I'd love to know it. Comment below and we'll all love your tricks. Um, but I, I don't know, that was just the way I do it. So once it's boiling, I'm going to gently add the eggs and I'm gonna set my timer for 11 minutes and you are gonna love how easy these are to peel. All right, so here we go. We have the butter mayo that we made. We have the hard boiled eggs we made. I'm gonna grab a knife here. And after 11 minutes, I quickly um, rinse them and throw them into ice. That will quickly stop the cooking. But watch this, my friends. Just super easy to peel. Really, really easy. Oh, I'm gonna get my deviled egg tray out. This really cute deviled egg tray. Um, I, 
I don't know about you. Does anybody like the avocado oil mayo? I just, it's just, I don't know. The flavor is just not my thing. I like this way better. And if you like bacon, again, you could do the bacon mayo. That's in my carnivore cookbook. But we'll have the link below to my butter mayo recipe. So I'm going to slice them in half. And I'm going to put the yolks into my mini food processor, which I adore also. There we go. Ta-da! So, yep, they just feel very easy. Oh, that one was really easy. That one's easy too, look at that. Just flies right off. I was told if they're super fresh, it doesn't, like people that uh, own chickens, they like, there are no tricks for the eggs that are from a really fresh chicken. There's just, it is what it is. All right. Ah, and I do want to mention, I have a lot of retreats coming up. If you want to learn my tips and tricks on finding health, how to make delicious food, how to do it, even though I'm a busy working mom that homeschools her children, I have a retreat. I'm going to Bali in April. That trip's already closed. You can't sign up for that one. It's too last minute but I have a trip to Italy in June, and that one's closing to being signed up for. I have a trip to Croatia, if you're a Game of Thrones fan, in September, which is over my birthday. Super excited for that one. And I have the South Africa trip in November, so if you wanna go on a safari, um, my husband, Craig, is a professional photographer and he's gonna join that trip. And he's gonna teach you everything you need to know about taking great animal photography. Uh, I, we were on a safari this last eight, August and it was like the best trip ever. So amazing. So if you wanna go on one of the trips, um, I have the link on ketomaria.com, but you could always comment below and I'll give you the direct link to what trip you wanna go on. And I have, I already have three planned for next year, but where would you like to go? I want to go everywhere, so I want to make trips for where you want to go. So comment below on that. All right, so they're peeled, and I don't have a big enough deviled egg tray, so I'm gonna get a plate. A plate will work for the extra ones. Work smarter, not harder, people. If you're gonna go through the trouble of making deviled eggs, Make a double batch because they're going to go fast otherwise. And I have a very long flight on Sunday. Um, so I'm going to pack these with me. So the yolks are going to go in here. What is your favorite kitchen, ga ki kitchen gadget, I should say? I'm, I'm a minimalist, but I end up with all these gadgets. My mom's sweet, but she buys me way too many gadgets. Probably that stick blender is my favorite gadget. I uh, make Equip shakes a lot, the Equip protein powder. And I'll pack that with me in my suitcase so I can make a shake. Sometimes I'm in areas where like food is scarce, and so I'll bring a package of Equip and my mixer and just throw some water in there. It's good to go. All right. So once you have all the yolks into the food processor, you want to pulse it before you add anything else because you really want to break up those yolks. I have the cutest deviled egg tray in Wisconsin. It has like little birdies for the salt and pepper shaker. I miss that. I miss home sometimes. All right. We did 12 eggs. 
So we have 24 deviled eggs. And yeah, I love to travel. I have a very cheap purse. Uh, I don't even have a car here in Hawaii. That's so I can travel everywhere. I just feel so alive when I travel. And I never thought I'd like uh, like a, a group trip, that like a tour type of a trip. But let me tell you, that is the way to go. I don't stress out about finding hotels or uh, finding transportation or event tickets. Everything, <laughs> you, I love, I plan everybody else's life, right? I love that I just show up, somebody picks me up in a fancy car at the airport and takes me to the hotel to meet everybody and we have dinner plans and we have events all the time, we have private boat tours, this and that. It's, it's the way to go. I love it. I don't have to worry about any, every, anything, it's just fun to not have to plan. So once you have the yolks in there. Zhuzh that up. I'm gonna add plenty of salt. Maybe do it one more time. And then I'm gonna add just a touch of mustard. You could skip this if you're a carnivore. Kelly Hogan, add your mustard. I know you like that. And then I'm gonna add the mayo. I might end up using this whole thing. I like them really creamy. So let's see how far this goes. Yeah, I want more in there. Mix it up. I suggest to taste it. And if you need more salt, add more salt. But know this trick. You can always add more. You can't ever take away. So adding less in the beginning, that goes with salt, spices, sweetness. You can always add more. You can't ever take away. Tasting as you go is important. So let's get a spatula. I have a favorite spatula. Does anybody else have a favorite spatula? This is mine. And I'm going to put this into, you can use a Ziploc bag. I have a, I got these piping bags. I think it's like, there's a hundred of them and it was like a few dollars. Totally worth it. If you make deviled eggs a lot, it's totally worth it. So it tastes good. Then I just add this in here. I'll just start with that to get this going. And then you're gonna cut the corner out the bottom. Scissors. Good thing about having a small kitchen, everything's very close by. <laughs> and I'm just piping away. Move this back a little bit so you can see. See how easy that is? And what, this take me five minutes? Sometimes it's like, oh, deviled eggs are such a pain. It's really not it's super easy. And totally worth the deliciousness. My mom would always sprinkle them with paprika on the top. Um, I like to put a little bacon chip on the top, <laughs> but I have one son that doesn't like bacon, so we'll skip, skip that this time. But there you do, there you go. Deviled eggs with butter mayo. And here you have it, butter mayo deviled eggs. They're super delicious. And you know what? You should share this recipe with your friends to show them how delicious healthy eating can be. If you want to change your life, 
like I've changed mine with food, I would be honored to help you. Many of you don't know that I was twice my size. I had acid reflux. I had PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. I had depression. I had IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome. And food changed my life. And not only did that happen, I get to eat good food, right? Good food. So if you want to eat good food, have perfected meal plans made by me and personal help with supplements or modifications if you have Hashimoto's, if you have uh, Graves, if you have IBS, if you have PCOS, contact me. I would be honored to help you. Um, you can go to keto-adapted.com and find a lot of different options there for personalized help or message me uh, by commenting below on this YouTube video or you can check me out at mariamindbodyhealth.com. Mahalo.